that was presented in the morning. So whoever that doesn't have laptop can just move one of the computers here. They're all connected. And then you can uh, just open a Google Chrome. And if you I, I will give you two questions, two questions, two questions to you. And they, if you answer to, to this question, and then you can close, you can finish, right? <laughs> that's all, that's all, okay? So, first I'm going to, yes, uh, the concept of the architect is, In the morning, I would like, uh, I already introduced the time guess. The time guess is uh, the very quick access uh, to for the uh, CPU to make the security climate protection tools. And then in this training, uh, the, the, there are several goals and the approach. Minimum goal is, uh, yes, please remember climate test. Please remember. And then intermediate goal is uh, yes, you can get really actually get to the climate basis for climate test. Now finally, if uh, you will use climate test in your work, in your activity, that's the final goal. And I will give you some exercise, two two questions, two questions. The double, and then you uh, by using climate test, please answer to this question. But that is a very simple and very important question in your climate change is related to work. And yes, this is step two. Then, uh, but I already introduced that. This is, a, or we have a, just two steps to get the uh, feature plan data. Step one is the area setting in the from in the top forum. And second step is just quick clean order. That's all, okay? And, that, and then you can get the future gram projection by only two steps. Okay, so frustration, answer temperature increase in your town, in your country, sorry, in your country or in your town. Okay, by using blood test. Okay. <laughs> and then you can select uh, the period at the end of this century or mid century or near century, near, near town. It's okay. This is the first question. And uh, you can feel by front cost allow you to quickly access, quickly get future climate change data. First question is very simple, only two steps. Only two steps. So if you have finished. Okay. Uh, so one point seven. Uh, the period, what is the period? The text. SSP uh, the scenario and the period. 51. 51. 51. 51, 58, 50. Okay, 51 to 61. 51 to 61. Yeah, yes, that's right. So, this century, we meet up this century. Do you feel the difficulty to get the future climate change data? Easy? Yeah. Very easy. So, if you need, when you need the data, please ask, just access to get data. Okay. So, this is first question. Okay, and the same again. Okay, and sometimes uh, you feel that how to make a such kind of a future climate change data, but in a high resolution. So I would like to give you some uh, introduction or uh, explanation of how to get the high resolution data. This one is an original global climate data. Okay, and then this one is downhill data. So which do you need? What was this one? Yeah, of course, this one. And then 
So some people feel that yes, it is difficult to get this such kind of downscale data. Yes, of course, of course, better. There are several ways to make high resolution data, downscale data. So actually, so we have three approaches. First one is a dynamical one. And the dynamical one uh, is used by the, uh, is, is made by the dynamical model. And the difficulty is difficult, but time consuming. Accuracy, high or low, high or low. Sometimes high, but sometimes low. And the statistical, another model is a statistical model. By using statistical model, we can make we can make uh, the high resolution data. And difficulty is the intermediate. Time consuming, yes, intermediate. Accuracy, high or low. And another one is uh, just interpolation. Interpolation, interpolation, just like a, and then difficulty, very easy, and time consuming, very high, quick, quickly, and accuracy, I think, low, maybe, low, which is, which do you mean? <laughs> so some people, yeah, some people like this one, because for scientists, scientists like this. And then some people like statistical, and some people like the digital. And then this separation is like, a, a, as I mentioned in the uh, morning session, this is a French course this one, food French course this one. And then intermediate restaurant, and the fast food shop, <laughs> right? <laughs> Which one do you need? <laughs> okay, statistics, of course. But some people, some people like uh, fast food, like, okay? Some people like uh, dynamic or some days, <laughs> some days, some days. So, this is a very high cost and a high time consuming. So, if you have time enough time, yes, you can go to the French cost restaurant. But if you do not have time, yes, you can go this way. And prime test is exactly we use this one, it can be uh, the interpolation as well. So, please understand the, the, the benefit and the advantage and disadvantage of this. Uh, that is a bit, uh, high uh, downscale method. But anyway, that is a, a basic concept of the uh, downscale method. And, and some people don't, some people think that how to uh, get such kind of downscale method for the interpolation. It's very easy. So there are several uh, interpolation methods. For example, by the interpolation uh, in bus distance way, uh, so on. And most this kind of interpret, interpolation method provided in a GIS software. So if you have a QGIS, so by using QGIS, you can downscale there. Easy. It's not, so I, as I said, this is just part of like a now working technology. Right. So when you need the downscale data, just use QGIS or open source GIS software, and then you can get downscale data. No difference, right? We do not think this is difficult. This is very easy, okay? By using open source software, okay? And that is a, uh, just introduction of the, uh, <clears throat> the downscale data. And then I give a second question. The second question has a separate two, two parts. And the first one is a answer how much degree will maximum temperature increase in your town? Okay, maximum temperature increase in your town. But please uh, look at this one. Period at the end of this century. And also under SSP 126 scenario, emission, uh, low emission scenario. And by using what? Climate model in Europe. This is the Japanese model. And also please answer maximum temperature increase at the end of this century, at the end of this century, and SSP 370 scenario. Okay, this is a high emission scenario. So please get the two body and the different emission scenario. And then please compare that body. And then that body means the, the effect of mitigation because we compare the different emission scenario, low emission scenario and high emission scenario. And you can get the difference between two scenarios. So that is the effect of mitigation. 
if you if we cut the emissions you know, emission so we the maximum temperature will reduce we can reduce the temperature okay so please calculate please get the, this value and the different uh, <coughs> emission scenario and please feel uh, please understand the difference between two emission scenarios in your country this is the second question and then final question is uh, like this yeah. please use different climate models and then previous one is just use different climate emission scenario and next one is please use different climate model so please understand that different climate models has a different future climate projection future totally different temperature increase projected by a different climate model so first question is a different emission scenario and then second question is a different climate model okay that's all that's all if you finish this if you answer this question you can go with that <laughs> okay the value is 0 0.0 sorry are you already you already that one seven it's uh it's a speed and then next high emission scenario please okay okay and then how how much difference between two emission scenarios that is the effect of emission uh, mitigation so if we if you if we can reduce the emission we can help these we can reduce the temperature okay. If you feel difficulty, <laughs> difficult or not? Yeah. You see? yeah, because my daughter can use this. Yeah. <laughs> my daughter is uh, uh, seven years old. My daughter can can use this. And, it, and this is a, a kind of an educational tool. So, hold on, hold on. What is the difference? Like, difference. And it, 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 is, it is the end of this century. Or, yeah, 91 to 91. And the end of this century. Okay, that's great. That is so 0.6, the difference 0.6. 1.4. 1.4. 1.4. Huge. Huge. Yeah, huge. <laughs> so how about how about the different and the different climate model? Different climate, yes. Uh, please, the uh, oh, different model. Different model. Okay. Yeah, different model. Which model you want? Uh, New York and then uh, New York is a Japanese model, and UK is a uh, UK model. Yeah, and please compare the difference between uh, emission scenario and different among climate models. You said that uh, 1.6 is from the difference emission scenario, but how about uh, the difference from the different climate model? Comes 2.36. 2.36. 2.36. Yeah. It's a UK model. Yes. Yeah, and how about ah? And then middle of Japanese model is the one point. Yeah. Um, Yeah, I get minus two. 
But anyway, yeah, you finished, right? Okay, you could use this is my my <laughs> okay, okay, so the the difference so difference between quantum mode is also important because you should understand the different crime crime model project, different temperature increase and uh, temperature increase or temperature And then we call that uh, uncertain. We call that as so you should consider you should understand that standard. Okay, so that's all of my talk. And then better of course other function also is included in this model chart chart mode. I mean chart mode you can see that the time stream change is the climate change in the future, and also mass mode, you can geographically compare the temperature increase or precipitation change in your country or uh, all, all over the world. And then we have a tutorial sheet on the YouTube. So if you have any questions, that please go to the, this uh, YouTube channel. And then this is this handsome guy is the meeting, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, that's all. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to be sharing the slides for those who want to work on this a little bit more. Again, I think for thank you for uh, more uh, basically academic approach to this type of hobby like the climate change program that is here, this could be a very interesting topic to cover considering the limitations that different type of scenarios have in terms of projections and how changes in different parts of the world might actually have an impact in all this. Of course, emission is not like, we're not looking at that side, right? I don't think emission here is gonna have an impact on, uh, you know, anybody uh, in terms of the changes in scenarios, but still, Looking at the overall, it can give us some perspective as well, uh, based on the uh, specific scenario. Now, uh, as always, if you could uh, help us with filling out the evaluation for today, uh, I would appreciate it. And then uh, for tomorrow, and I'll share the this online as well. Okay, so for tomorrow, again, we are going to be starting uh, the registration at 8.10. Uh, we're going to start our very first session uh, sharp at 8.20. Now, tomorrow is going to be a very interesting session related to early warning for all. Uh, many participants are coming from UNDRR, from 